If your freezer coils are frozen, here are the top five most probable causes. The defrost heater turns on several times a day to melt away any frost that has accumulated on the evaporator coils. If the heater is defective, the coils will eventually frost over. You can use a multimeter to determine if there is a continuous electrical path present in the part. If there is no electrical continuity, the defrost heater is defective and will need to be replaced. The defrost thermostat monitors the temperature of the evaporator coils. When the temperature drops to a set level, the contacts in the thermostat close and allow voltage to power the defrost heater. A malfunctioning thermostat may prevent the heater from working. As with the heater assembly, you can use a multimeter to test the thermostat for continuity to determine if the part is defective. Keep in mind, you will need to test the thermostat at a temperature of 15 degrees Fahrenheit or lower for a proper reading. Some models have a defrost timer, which turns the heater on for about 25 minutes two or three times a day. A faulty timer may not advance into the defrost cycle or be able to send voltage to the heater during the cycle. Try slowly advancing the timer dial into the defrost cycle. The compressor should shut off and the heater should turn on. If the timer does not allow voltage to reach the heater, or the timer does not advance out of the defrost cycle within 30 minutes, the components should be replaced. Some models will have a defrost control board to control the defrost cycle instead of a timer. A defective control board may prevent the evaporator coils from defrosting. While the board cannot be easily tested, you can inspect it for signs of burning or a shorted out component. If the door gasket is worn or damaged on a freezer that is not self-defrosting, the evaporator coils could frost over more quickly due to outside air seeping into the compartment. You can replace the old door gasket with a new one to solve the problem. All of the parts shown in this video are available on our website. Be sure to enter the full model number of your appliance to find the specific replacement part that will fix your freezer.